Good morning, friends. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. It's before 7 a.m. and it's still cool. It's 75 degrees. It feels lovely. The bird made sure I was up, so I thought, let me get dressed quick and go out and walk now because it's lovely. Uh, gonna see the sunrise at some point. And the Saharan dust layer is close. I want to get a good sunset photo. I'm hoping to get. So I hope you're having a good morning. Uh, you know, healthy habits, healthy habits, hydration. I already had three glasses of water and my big cup of coffee here with my goodie in it. <laughs> Protein drink, you know. And I have my shopping bag. I'm going to stop at the store. I'll tell you, um, uh, I, uh, got this new lawnmower. It's a cute little lawnmower. It's an electric one that you plug in. Because I thought if I tried to pull the thing one more time on that gas mower, I'm not going to have a shoulder left. Oh, and that thing got stuck. I can't even pull it. I don't know what's wrong with it. And I'm not handy or a mechanic. Forget it. <laughs> so I got this cute little lawnmower. My son bought me a drill of the same brand. And he says, this is a good brand. I says, okay. So I bought a lawnmower. I ordered it and they delivered it. So... Uh, the back the grass in the backyard got a little long, so <laughs> hi Jerry. <laughs> and I was mowing, I was getting a good rhythm, you know, mowing the grass, and I hear something banging on the blade. Chop! I cut the extension cord. Look at this. I mean, chop really quick. I thought, oh man, look at that. I had this extension cord for years. It's 50 foot. I actually need a longer one. <laughs> but, so I had to stop. I, I ruined my groove. I had to stop mowing the grass because of the extent. Look at this. That's how you shows you how sharp the blade. <laughs> so that was that. I have to wait till the next extension cord comes. It's going to be Thursday. Then I can finish. I do need an edger, though. So next month, I want to buy the edger. I don't know what happened to my long guy. He never... He disappeared. So I thought, well, let me try it, and I'll do it like 5, 6 o'clock when it's cooler. So that was my mowing the grass adventure. That gas mower, forget it. I always had a heck of a time starting it. And always a neighbor would come to help me get it started. And once we got it started, any time, you know, it would run out of gas about three times and I have to fill the little gas tank. It would get going, but now the thing is stuck. I have no idea what's wrong with it. I'm ready to put the thing on the curb because if I try to use that thing one more time, I'm not gonna have a shoulder. <laughs> uh, so, this cute little uh, electric mower I have, I have to get in the groove and uh, practice holding the wire, the extension cord up so I don't run over it again. Uh, so that's my mowing the grass adventure yesterday. It's actually, be, I think it's still before 7 o'clock. Oh, there's the sun. Uh, I forgot to get olives yesterday. I like to have olives with my healthy fat. Sometimes I do a little olive oil on my salad. I also like olives too, and I forgot to get them yesterday, so I'm going to Publix to get my jar of olives. And, you know, I'll tell you, those of us with chronic illness, we know, right, Jerry? For years, we're homebound, stuck, we die to do these walks, you know, and now that I'm able to do them, I'm addicted. I can't stop. Uh, I have to get out every morning. I'm itching as soon as I wake up. I got to walk. I got to walk. I feel for the people who don't, who are healthy, still healthy, and they're workaholic if that's a word, and not taking care of themselves, eating that fast food, uh, because then, boom, 50, 60 years old, something happens, the heart attack or something, and they're shocked. Oh. So, you know, I always say never give up and please take care of yourself. That's my new thing. Uh, I'll tell you, my dog Tippy, even the dog, <laughs> the memories are coming up. Her photos are uh, coming up this month. She had kidney disease, so I said, well, what do we do? I said to the vet, well, we got to put her on a diet. I said, okay. So he gives me this food. I thought, oh man, would I eat that stuff? I did a little research, right? <laughs> And I found this Dr. Harvey. And I called up the place. And they said, you know, Dr. Harvey will talk to you on the phone. I said, really? So uh, I says, okay. 
he called me and he was this old school pharmacist actually he developed these uh, natural foods for pets to improve health conditions he said send me the labs with this raspy you know he sounded like he was 70 or 80 and I'll tell you every time I would send him the labs well the first time he said if you want your dog to survive you gotta give her this stuff if you were my sister I'd tell you the same thing so it's interesting you know you, you um, clean up the dogs she lived another two years she only had a prognosis of two months ten tops she lived two more years so if that could happen with the dog just think what it could happen to us you know just taking care of yourself a, li a few changes it's, it's amazing and also some of us with the chronic you know we gotta go to our special doctors and you know keep paying all our money <laughs> but we're grateful I'm grateful so there's the sun see it Anyway, so that was my lawnmower adventure and my dog. Uh, see, look at that. It's amazing. I, I thought it, uh, the lawnmower was broken. It started right up, so uh, I guess because it was new, the blade. Uh, it did say, though, uh, in the booklet, get an extra blade. So I guess I'm going to need to get an extra blade just in case I run over a few more things until I get the groove of doing it properly. So... Anyway, I'm going to go to the grocery store and get my olives. And there was something else, but I can't remember. Maybe I'll remember when I get there. Have a great day, friends. I love you. God bless. Take care of yourself. And, you know, remember my dog, Tippy. I always say remember my dog, Tippy, because uh, you just never know. You know, she, the last month of her life, the labs were up there and the vet said, you know, everybody dies. I says, okay, give me the pain pills for her so she could stand up. So uh, that one pain pill, it was amazing how she was able to stand up and walk. Uh, and we were doing 10,000 steps a day. I didn't even know until the watch on my wrist. I saw the little feet. I says, oh, look at this. It counts the steps, and it's saying 10,000 at the end of the day. And she was walking 10,000 steps a day till the end of her life. So just, to, you know, you just never know what's coming. Don't give up. I thought I was going to give up <laughs> through the years. And I got a true answer, legitimate diagnosis across the board at 28 years. Imagine going through that 28 years. I didn't think I was going to see my kids grow up. So uh, I'm grateful, I'm grateful, and I'm addicted. I'm out here every day. I want to share it with you. I want to get you out here with me. So, you know, I'm trying to find a walking partner. I know I talk too much, right? <laughs> so have a great day, friends. I love you and God bless.